So hi everyone, welcome back to Maths with Eve. And the person behind the camera is Ayushi, that is me. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the syllabus for BSc Mathematics Honours for semester 1. Okay, now the syllabus that I am going to discuss in this video is according to the Delhi University program. Okay, the BSc Maths Honours degree, the 3 year course. For that syllabus, we are going to discuss in this video. In this video, I am going to cover just the semester 1 syllabus. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to discuss the syllabus for the other semesters, semester 2, semester 3 and so on. Okay, now an important announcement is that if you haven't watched the videos uh, of course structure and subjects, then I would suggest that you first go and watch these two videos. And you could find these two videos in a playlist named BSc Mathematics Honors. Okay, so basically that playlist consists of nine videos and all of them are about maths honors and if you watch those nine videos you would get a complete information about bsc maths honors okay so this course structure and subjects video is also available in that playlist which consists of all nine videos okay so you can just go watch that playlist it consists of many other videos which would be helpful to you i think so okay so now let's move on to our aim of today's video okay so now coming to semester one of this particular course in semester one you need to pass or you need to give four exams okay four exams which are first two exams are known as your core exams okay your third exam is your AECC and your fourth exam is your GE now GE is generic elective and AECC is ability enhancement compulsory course okay now I have made separate videos on GE and EECC okay uh, so basically GE is different for different people okay now it depends upon what the college offers and what a particular student opts for so in this video we are not going to discuss about GE coming to AECC AECC has two options either EVS that is your environmental science that we studied during our school times and second is English okay now it depends upon the course that okay you need to study both the subjects okay so uh, if your evs subject is offered to you in semester one then english would be there in semester two okay if english is there in semester one then evs would be there in semester two okay so now to understand this thing you need to go and watch the course structure video okay so in first semester either you can get evs or you can get english okay and i have al already discussed about this in a video uh, in which i have given you the complete study material for delhi university which is valid for any course but yeah i have specifically mentioned all the subject readings your other material that you could refer and please go and watch that video that video is going to be very very helpful okay now there are okay first just to inform you there are two main playlists on this channel okay first is your delhi university important information and second is your maths honors okay and also you can visit the third one which is student special section okay now uh, if you are going to opt maths if you have already got a seat in Delhi University for BSc Maths Honours if or if you are hoping to get one then in both the cases you you have to watch these two playlists first is the D one and second is the Maths Honours one okay to get the complete information okay now let's come back to our video okay uh, so ACC is done and G is done now coming to the core subjects your core First course object is your C1 that is core 1 it is calculus and second course object is C2 that is core 2 algebra okay now this calculus and algebra core subjects need to be studied by all the people okay so all the students are going to study these two subjects and therefore in this video we are going to cover the syllabus of these two in detail okay the detailed syllabus because i have already discussed the structure and the subjects in the previous videos that i have already suggested you to go and watch okay now you can take the screenshot of the syllabus this is not the total one but yeah first take at least this much okay now the calculus syllabus is divided into various parts or let's call it sections okay the first section consists of these topics hyperbolic functions higher order derivatives 
applications of limnitz rule second is this the first derivative test concavity and inflection point second derivative test curve sketching using first and second derivative test limits of infinity graphs with asymptotes elopetal's rule applications okay now you can see that many topics from this particular part have uh, we have already studied in our class 12th okay so i have also talked about this in my previous videos okay so uh, you can just start uh, revising these topics so that to cover the syllabus basically now your third part comes here which consists of topics like this parametric representation of curves tracing of parametric curves polar coordinates tracing of curves in polar coordinates reduction formulae derivations and illustrations okay now coming to the fourth part here it is it is this part it consists of topics like volumes by slicing disk and washers method volumes by cylindrical shells arc length area of surface of revolution arc length of parametric curves okay so this was another let's move on to few more sections okay or topics now you can also take a screenshot of this page this is the second page of the calculus syllabus okay it consists of topics like techniques of sketching conics reflection properties of conics rotation of axis and second degree of equations classification into conics using the discriminant coming to the last section this is the section it consists of topics like introduction to vector functions and their graphs operations with vector valued functions limits and continuity of vector functions differentiation and integration of vector functions tangential and normal components of acceleration modeling ballistics and planetary motion kepler's second law and curvature okay so this was all about the topics of the calculus subject now let's move on to the algebra here it is okay you can first take out a screenshot of the syllabus so that i can start reading it out okay so this is not all but but first take this much okay now the first section consists of these topics polar representation of complex numbers and its roots of unity de moivre's theorem for rational indices and its applications now the second one is this equivalence relations functions composition of functions invertible functions one to one correspondence and cardinality of a set well ordering property of positive integers division algorithm divisibility and inclusion algorithm congruence relation between integers principle of mathematical induction statement of fundamental theorem of arithmetic okay now let's move on to the third and the final section it consists of first it consists of these three topics and the rest are upcoming system of linear equations row reduction and neckland forms vector equations okay now first of all i need to make this point here that many of the topics from this section we have already covered in our class 12th so we can just start revising this up to the time our classes just start okay now the in continuation section three consists of these topics the matrix equation a into x is equal to b solution set of linear systems applications of linear systems linear independence introduction to linear transformations matrix of a linear transformation inverse of a matrix characterizations of invertible matrices subspaces of r n dimensions of subspaces of r n and rank of a matrix eigen values eigen vectors and characteristic equation of a matrix okay so this was the syllabus of calculus and algebra okay now further we have some of the important announcements here okay now for calculus and algebra as i have just shown you some of the topics are same as class 12 okay so first first we can just revise those topics and uh, like that we can just continue with our syllabus and the major announcement is that i'm going to pick up some of the topics okay from all the topics that i've mentioned and i'm going to explain or teach those topics on this channel only so if you haven't subscribed to this channel till now okay after watching those nine videos of maths honors and various videos on delhi university i think that this is the right time for you to subscribe to the channel okay so first of all go and subscribe to the channel and if you like the video then do press the like button and share it with all the people who want to do not want who basically do not want to waste their time right now and want to get into their studies of maths honors if they have got a seat in delhi university or else elsewhere also because this um, syllabus remains pretty much same for other universities as well okay so thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in my next videos where i would cover all the various semester syllabus first of all
okay and second i would just teach the various topics uh, that uh, you need to know okay and uh, let's just start with our journey from this right now okay so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you like the video do tell me or in comments if you like it and also you can uh, just put any comment regarding any doubt you have regarding anything bsc maths honors delhi university or or the various other kind of videos that i make on this channel okay so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video till then bye